When it comes to exploring the great outdoors, few activities can match the sheer bliss of riding a bike. And whether you're on the market for your first off-road capable bike, or maybe something that could just get you around town, the Polygon Cascade is hard to beat. It's a perfect option for riders looking to get into casual mountain biking, commuting, or just enjoying the fresh air on a casual ride. So let's get into it and see what makes this bike so special and whether or not it should be the next bike for you. The Polygon Cascade features a lightweight, durable aluminum frame with mountain bike inspired geometry that boosts confidence in a variety of light terrain. The hydroformed Alutech tubing is the same used on Polygon's higher end bikes and not only makes it look sick, but also keeps the weight low. The Cascade is offered in three sizes, allowing the bike to fit anyone from 5'1 to 6'1. Regardless of the size of frame you choose, it will come with two 27.5 wheels that are big enough to smooth out rough patches of road and trail without being so big as to make the bike feel bulky or cumbersome. Speaking of balance, the 69 degree head tube angle and short 430 millimeter chain stays give the bike a perfect blend of responsiveness and stability. The Cascade also features a short reach and high stack for a comfortable upright riding position. Lastly, the low standover height and included kickstand make getting on and off the bike a breeze. All in all, this makes for a well-balanced bike that's capable of a variety of different terrains, from light trail use to commuting to and from work. In addition to this bike's great geometry, another thing I really appreciate is that Polygon chose to include a zero stack threadless headset and removable derailleur hanger. This will not only increase the bike's lifespan, but reduce maintenance along the way too. Lastly, as with all polygons, the Cascade 3 and 4 are both lookers. I'm particularly a fan of this matte blue on the Cascade 3. It really sets the bar high for how sleek a value priced bike can look. But we all know a bike has got to do a little bit more than just look good. Thankfully, however, the Cascade 3 and its more premium sibling, the Cascade 4, come with a part spec that's every bit as dialed as the frame. Both bikes feature the same 100mm SR Suntour XCE suspension forks that feature adjustable preload, allowing you to tailor its performance for your specific needs. Moving on to the drivetrain, the Cascade 3 and 4 both come with a reliable combination of Shimano Turney and Altus components. Both bikes feature three chain rings up front and an Altus derailleur to keep the shifts extra smooth and crisp. At the back of the bike, the Cascade 3 comes with a 7-speed 14x28 tooth cassette, whereas the Cascade 4 gets an upgraded 8-speed. Both options also come with a Shimano Rapid Fire Plus shift lever, allowing you to shift down three gears with a single press of the lever. While both options will provide smooth shifting at a wider range of speeds, more nuanced riders or those living in hillier areas will definitely appreciate the added gears on the Cascade 4. So all that will get you going. But what about when it comes to stopping? Well, that happens to be the biggest difference that sets the Cascade 3 and the Cascade 4 apart. The Cascade 3 features Tektro MD M280 mechanical disc brakes. Unlike rim brakes, these will provide smooth and powerful braking in all weather conditions. But if you're looking for even more performance, then you'll be happy to learn that the Cascade 4 comes with a pair of Alhonga hydraulic disc brakes. It's pretty unheard of to find a bike at this price point with such high quality brakes. And I, for one, appreciate the increased power and modulation they provide. Hydraulic disc brakes also require less routine maintenance, meaning you'll get the same smooth and consistent braking on every ride. Rounding out the rest of the spec are 2.1 inch Entity tires wrapped around strong double wall aluminum rims. These tires are beefy enough to enhance grip over loose terrain, but still roll quickly on smoother sections of the trail. Lastly, both bikes feature high-quality, ergonomically shaped entity saddles that really complete the high-quality image of the bike. All said, the Cascade 3 and 4 come loaded with high-quality performance parts that really add to the versatility of this frame. Like I said earlier, both models of the Cascade are great for commuting and light trail riding. Riders that are looking for the most affordable way to get onto two wheels will be more than satisfied with the part spec on the Cascade 3. But those looking for a bit more performance to get up and back down even the steepest hills will definitely appreciate the increased gear range and hydraulic disc brakes on the Cascade 4. If you're looking for even more performance than the Cascade 4, then check out the Polygon Premier, which features an upgraded frame and higher end components. Polygon also makes the Path 2, which is another value packed bike, but aimed more towards urban commuting. But if you're really looking for a bike that's just gonna get you started mountain biking, commuting, or just going for a casual ride, 
then it's pretty hard to beat the Polygon Cascades. Now, if you have any questions about the Cascades, please drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer that. And then while you're down there, like and subscribe to Bikes Online, where I'll be hanging out. After you've done that, get out on the trails and get ripping.